Don't drop the bottle, first rule. One, two, go for a hand. So I'm gonna set I'm gonna set this extra hardware out of the way. Oh, so it says the O3 waterworks system pulls oxygen from the air in your room and introduces an electrical current. The electricity turns a portion of the O2 molecule into O3 and dissolves them into water, moving them through the system. This enhanced oxygen or aqueous ozone. So it's the second most powerful oxidizer currently known. And the O3 compound then attaches to the contaminants in the washing machine during both the wash and rinse cycle and breaks them down so they can be rinsed away. It's kind of like washing everything in peroxide but without the damage that would come from it. Oh yeah. So anyway, we were saying that we were planning on possibly putting a T off of this so we could put stuff into a bucket for going and cleaning. However, we may not because of what's in this box, which was something that was uh, part of this bundle that, uh, that she got this here. This spray bottle. So it's like a little really small miniature version of it that you plug in. Quick start guide. Yep. You, pl you fill it with your tap water. Um, of course, if you have hard water, you kind of can't really use it because hard water shortens the life, like yep. super hard water. Um, but it does the same thing, but on the go. And I was planning on, it works, they say it works really well for um, hard surface countertops which is what I now have. And uh, you just fill it up to the max line from your tap and you have it plugged in and charged and it has its little machine in here just like this one does. And then at the top of it, when it starts to get low, it should have, yeah, it has a little light, an X saying it needs charged and a check mark saying that it's, good, it's working and good to go. Yeah, and so the whole point of this thing is it'll clean up fungus, bacteria, mm -hmm. any uh, contaminants. It doesn't, it's not proven to kill viruses or anything like that, but no. mm -hmm. it, they, they, no, that's bacteria. Sorry. Yeah. I was thinking of so, so bacteria. I was it'll, thinking. it'll sanitize, it'll correct. sanitize for any of the other things that mm -hmm. you need to sanitize for with effectively just water. So you're not putting harsh chemicals into the surface of uh, your countertop that then you're going to end up putting your bread on at some point and then yeah. soaking those chemicals back up into what you're going to consume. So it says here, to be removed by consumer only, pardon the water droplets in an effort to assure quality, we have tested this bottle just prior to shipping. So they actually tested this to make sure it worked before they shipped it. Which means it sh should have some battery in it, right? Wouldn't you think? I don't know. Let's plug it in and see if it's char if it is, because there is an outlet right there. Or do you want me to do well, it? Well, I would mean, just put some water in and see if no. it pumped. Well, OK. Works for me. <laughs> so it says the water quality hardness has to be less than 250 parts per million. Well, our Ours is 50 our, because our, I our, tested it. Well, our Berkey filter also would get even more of any of that out as well. Yeah. Okay, so these are LED indicator lights. I guess we do need to charge it. It don't go. Well, it's going to take a little bit. It's a water-based sanitizer. It's proven, reduces common pathogens, destroys odor-causing microorganisms, and it ensures <clears throat> it's in compliance with the EPA requirements too. And there are rechargeable batteries. Charge until the light on the charger goes from red to green. The charger down there, it's red right now, of course. And oh. there is no light on the bottle, so this doesn't light up anywhere. And fill the reservoir with cold tap water only. Mm -hmm. It's okay to da 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 da. No fragrance, which is so. Do much better. do not use distilled or deionized water. Berkey isn't deionized. No, it's not distilled or deionized. No. So apparently, it has to have some impurities of some sort in it to be able to do what it's supposed to do. Press the trigger. Look for the blue light on the spray head. If the blue it's, check is it'll not it'll take up to three spray, hours. Then prime the bottle. The red light on the charger indicates the device is being charged. So the charger, it will turn green. It'll yeah. go from red to green. And it won't. It, you can't like. You can't plug it in and operate it either. You gotta add some table salt in. Oh, do I have to do that again, like a vaporizer? Add one tablespoon, teaspoon of table salt in the reservoir and shake until dissolved. Spray the entire contents of the bottle out into your sink, refill with normal cold tap water. So the salt is just for priming in some sort Probably. of... Probably. 
Well, we'll go through all the, the details on this a little bit and figure out how to make it work and then... Oh, here uh, it is. It says Prime. And then we'll make it work. Yeah. Sanitize hard, non-porous surfaces. I was really looking to see like what all they said that they tested for and that it, it what it kills bacteria-wise, but I don't think that's in here. That's really what I'm looking for. Oh, look. Oh, kills 99.9% .9 of common pathogens, including E. coli, salmonella, pseudomonas. Oh, I know how to print and I know it kills staph. I do know that, but I can't even remember how to say this one. Pseudomonas. I've never seen that word before, so I'd be guessing. Eruginosa? No. Well, anybody that's in the yeah. medical or I'll biological in, field will uh, figure that out for I'll, us. I'll, I'll, pull, I'll, pull, <laughs> I'll put it down in the description of what all it kills because it's more than just that. But yeah, I, I'm excited to put this together. Yeah. So you'll smell that rain smell in the air of when the you ozone. Open it, when you open it. Well, so we're looking for a way to be able to clean and sanitize with less chemicals. So in, in the end, spending a little bit of money on this, which we will make up by not spending in detergent over time, uh, and not running all those extra rent cycles of the washer and all these other things, um, we're also not having all those chemicals that are going to be part of our daily life there skin. and coming into our skin. Yeah. So, okay. I'm excited to put this, well, you're going to put this together. I'm going to watch and hold the camera. Fair enough. Because. <laughs> I'm not savvy with a, a tool. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll read the directions too.